Hey everyone, it's Matinia from fengineer.com again. Uh, in one of the previous videos, I went over very briefly um, selecting page post engagement as my ad goal. Now, just wanted to let you know that although I select that as my ad goal, I still want um, website conversions to be tracked. So when you're adding your ad, you you can select. Let's see if I were to. Um, here you can select an ad goal, right? So I usually use one of these two. Nowadays it's mostly this, so I use page post engagement, but you don't want to avoid tracking your website conversions. So I just wanted to go over the importance of tracking your website conversions, especially for Teespring campaigns. So anyway, uh, consider assuming you've selected page post engagements and you've pasted in your conversion pixel ID into your Teespring campaign, you can now, after a while, uh, say you've got about 15 to 20 conversions, you can go to your reporting, um, which I've done here, and there's a previous campaign that I did around the Scotland or Scottish people niche, and it did okay, got about 28 conversions. Uh, tracked on Facebook, so there's about 33 to 40 all up actually in the actual campaign. Um, but if we go here, we can add a column, we can add a website conversions column, which is what we want. Website conversion, save column, and now you can match up your. Oh uh, wait, when you also want to, you want it to be broken down by age and gender, or whatever you choose, country, age, gender. This is the cool thing about Facebook reporting. So once you're tracking your conversions, you can actually see what age um, is converting for you. So now, let's just drag this across. Let's put it over here somewhere. There you go. So now I can see that that particular campaign for me, the majority of converters were males. So mostly males purchased it. Right? Um had a good amount of sales between 45 and 54. Uh, 35 and 44, we had 6, so that's pretty good. So next time I launch this campaign, oh, you even got some 65 plus. Um, okay, 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 this is all interesting information. Next time I launch this campaign, I might try 35 and 54, because just amongst that 20-year age group, I've got 15 conversions. Um, this is actually pretty even. There's even some between the 18 and 24 um, gap, which I wouldn't expect actually. So, I mean, I did pretty well there actually selecting. I think I selected 20 to, or 18 to 65. So I, I didn't actually select an age range. I must have just select, selected males and gone for it. But this is the reason why I track conversions because sometimes you'll see that it's the your stats are skewed um, towards, say, males that are aged between 25 and 34. So you want to um, just focus your targeting between males between 25 and 34, and then you'll start to see a really big amount of sales and CTR come in where you, you, your ROI would be pretty big. So if you were to go to, let's see, the CTR. Where is your CTR? Here, click through rate. So... Um, although that's a big click-through rate, it hasn't had a good share of impressions, so I wouldn't really use that. We've got 5%, there we go, 6% six, 6 here, which is that one there, year 9. So it looks like, again, it's evenly spread. Sometimes you'll find a really big chunk of CTR coming from just a, you know, a small set of age group for you and then you can just again focus on that but this is the reason I'm showing you this is you can see the important the importance of tracking by website conversions so again your ad goal should be
page post engagement, but you should de most definitely be tracking your Facebook conversions um, by inserting the Facebook tracking pixel into your Teespring campaigns. Um, that should give you all the statistical data that you need to either optimize or see whether or not your Facebook your Teespring campaign is doing well or not. So that's about it for this video, just an overview of uh, conversion reporting actually. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.